Welcome to this week's End of Days Update, coming to you from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Wow, what a busy week last week. We were in five states. Uh, first of all, we were in Iowa, then we went to Minnesota, then went to Florida, then went to uh, Midland, Texas. Had a great time. The people are so hungry. I know I say that every week, uh, but the, the crowds seem like they're catching it that Jesus is just about to come back. If you're anywhere near Winter Garden this weekend, we'll be at Christ Chapel Sunday night and Monday night. Come be with us. We'll have a great time. So we're we're coming to you every week to look at the different things that point to the coming of the Lord, specifically the gathering of nations for the Ezekiel 38 war, because we know that happens just after the rapture. And uh, the rapture is signless, and the second coming has tons of signs. I think our book that's coming out in May, it, we got it up to about 80 some odd signs. So it is remarkable how it's over and over one thing after another. I mean, just stuff like uh, uh, scorpions biting 500 people in Egypt, that kind of stuff. It's very biblical stuff. Little things that uh, we don't get to talk about on the end of day's update, but so many signs after signs after signs. So, man, we need to pick up what's, what's happened uh, there. I'll try to get to all of it. And a lot of times I remember things toward the end. So just stay with me. Man, what's happened around Israel? You had four people killed with an ISIS terrorist attack in Beersheba, six injured. Uh, crazy. You know, as horrible as that is, you had President Bennett from Prime Minister Bennett from Israel meeting with Putin today uh, over what's going on in the Ukraine. Just the atrocities are absolutely amazing. Just watching those missiles hit children's hospitals and stuff. It's it's a kind of a real wake up call for what's going to be happening during the tribulation. Just absolute hideous. So a lot of things are happening. Uh, it looks like Bennett uh, was talking to Putin and Putin said he would let L Zelensky stay in as president of the Ukraine as long as they vowed not to join NATO. So in the midst of this, you, you got Russia still wanting to take it over. And then you had all these talks in Israel. This was so amazing in the Jerusalem Post. Oh, and then Haaretz talking about Israel said, what's to stop Russia from coming down on Israel? So they're giving you verbiage about what really is getting ready to happen too. So you even had some of the news media in Israel talk about Jesus is about to come. So, I mean, that was pretty wild when I saw that. I was like, man, they're, they're going for it. So many things are happening. I'm going to try to go through them. So you had uh, Russia using uh, thermobaric missiles, uh, uh, radical, that's that burns people's organs within 300 yards, kills people's lungs within 300 yards. So Russia did the hypersonic missile this last week, then they're doing the ther ther thermobaric. I mean, it's crazy. You had members of parliament of Russia say they want reparations for the U.S. U.S. kind of supporting the Ukraine with military equipment. They said, we want to take part of Alaska now and we want to take part of California. So you just have that crazy uh, tribulation mentality, psycho mentality in these leaders. To the point that even with Israel uh, uh, working with uh, America, working with Iran over the nuclear agreement, it's so bad that people have come out talking about how hideous it is that this is amazing. Israel's prime minister met with Russia's leader and the United Arab Emirates leader and Secretary of State Blinken from the United States was supposed to go there to meet with him. The, 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 the Arab countries wouldn't let him come in because of how bad the nuclear deal is. And America said this last week, they're going to take the Iran's Republic, uh, National Republican Guard off of the terrorist list. These are terrorists that America says we're going to do this if, if you'll uh, help us do this deal. America's trying to push for this deal so bad, and it will literally will let cameras go back in. This is what's crazy. It'll let cameras go back into some of the uh, nuclear plants, but then they won't let them read it. So it's just insane. One thing after another, is it's not comical. It's just nuts. So, and then you had President Biden. Uh, uh, we, we America sending a, a huge armored regiment to Bulgaria just to hold up the eastern front of NATO. And then Biden came. The Biden administration came out and said, and Biden said, I want to be the leader of the new world order. America sent a whole bunch of Marines to the northern part of Australia getting ready for China to attack uh, Taiwan. China has three islands that are militarized more than any place since World War II. That they, they fully filled these islands with equipment because they're going to invade uh, Taiwan. Because you got So you got China and Russia that have the largest land mass of any countries in the world, and they're going after other lands. So it's just a weird satanic thought pattern. Uh, with all of that, uh, you look at it and you just go, what's happening next? So it's one thing after another. Well, the point of it is uh, Jesus is about to come back. I mean, remember he said, you can tell what the 
the weather's going to be, but you don't know your hour of visitation. And I hear all these people say, well, you don't need to hear about end times. No, tell a quarterback in the last couple of minutes of a game not to look at the play clock. All these things are showing us how close we are. They're signs of the coming of the Lord. So we're, we're very blessed. And if you got into everything that was happening behind the scenes with Turkey, uh, you got stuff happening with Turkey, stuff happening with Israel, stuff happening with Saudi Arabia. I mean, it's, it's weird. Bashar Assad from Syria was welcome in the Gulf states, and our Secretary of State was not. Now, Bashar Assad is known, he's an absolute terrorist. So then you've got Russia verbalizing they want to be more into Syria, even though they're all over Syria. So you have all these little things that are literally blatant pointing to the coming of the Lord. And I'm probably forgetting four or five things that are just absolutely amazing. Why? Jesus is just about to come. So let's go through the signs. I know we go through every week, but uh, I know England wants me to get to them because they're amazing, aren't they? I know. Signs don't scare you or bring you fear. They, they bring you peace, showing you you're headed close to your destination. So number one, Israel made a nation. Number two, Jerusalem won back. Jesus said the generation that sees those two events won't pass away till all is fulfilled. Then you got the Hebrew language restored. You got the Ethiopian Jews brought back. You got the fertility of the land of Israel. You have the revival of the Roman Empire. You have the Temple Mount Institute that's ready to start having sacrifices. You had the Sanhedrin recently, twice, get the oil of anointing ready to uh, anoint the Most Holy, which is the Messiah. You had a rabbi this last week talk about the Messiah is on its way. There was one last sign in the Talmud that had to take place, and he verbalized it and said, man, the Messiah is here. Crazy. So you have all of that, and then you have many more signs. Many will be lovers themselves. You have selfie sticks. you got fish showing up in the Dead Sea. You had the Dead Sea turn blood red, right where Sodom and Gomorrah is, and it was on the Day of Atonement. You have foxes on the Temple Mount. Uh, you have those 172 different species of predatory birds. I mean, you got the cleanup crews already there for the Ezekiel 38 war. And then at the Battle of Armageddon, God calls on the fowl of the air to clean the land up again. So cleanup crews there. You had the uh, ritual baths around the Temple Mount fill up with water. So you've got all these things that are just like blatant. Jesus is just about to come. So uh, many, many, many more signs. Uh, it's just remarkable the things that have happened all over the earth. But you go from signs to signals. You got blood red moons on Passover and Tabernacles. Crazy. Four in a row. Uh, NASA called that a tetrad. When's the last time you had four in a row? Well, that was 1967, 1948, and 1492. Uh, remarkable dates when the blood red moons happened coincide with specific things with Israel. That's pretty amazing. And then you had the Bethlehem star. A lot of times we don't have much time to talk about it. We had Jupiter, Regulus, and Venus come together. When Jesus was born, the constellation was Virgo. This last year, NBC Nightly News said we have a celestial event. We've got Jupiter, Regulus, and Venus. What's that? The Bethlehem star. What was the constellation? Leo. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. I haven't talked about this one much lately, but it will uh, be apropos for right now. You had Mercury do a flyby of the sun, went down directly over the Temple Mount, uh, exactly at sundown. And the planets formed a sickle. The moon formed a sickle. And Orion changed his instrument to hammer. Now listen, you had hammer and sickle on the same day. What's that? That's Russia's symbol. What's Russia doing? Uh, that is showing you that they're getting ready to put people through the threshing floor. And I'm amazed that you had people in Israel talk about Russia is going to come down as well to there. What's going to stop them? So I was like, wow, you got Israelis literally not even knowing what the future is going to be, saying what the future is, because Russia is going to keep on going. But we know that happens uh, just after the rapture. So you're watching it unfold with all the, the earthquakes off the off Portugal, 1,100 in one day. You had a solar flare uh, that happened two days ago. They said could disrupt satellite uh, feeds. So uh, natural things, heavenly things, heavenly signs, physical signs. Why? The king's coming back. Wow. We have a lot to do in a short period of time. But think what you'll say, what you'll see when we see Jesus standing there. We'll see the father of the rainbow around the throne. Uh, we'll see the, the fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. When sinners dip beneath that flood, lose all their guilty stain. The king. The king's coming back so soon. Make ready. Help your local church. Help your local pastor. Get ready to see Jesus. We, we have to do everything we can because he's just about to come back. A lot of stuff's happening every single week. Come back next Wednesday and we'll, we'll see what's happening to point to the coming of the Lord. Have a blessed, wonderful week. We'll see you next Wednesday. Thanks. 
Thanks for joining us today at the end of day's update. If you'd like to be notified every time there's a new post, just go to the edu at josephmorris.com and subscribe to receive email alerts. If these posts and updates have been a blessing to you, please consider making a one-time donation to help get the message out or even becoming a monthly partner with Joseph Morris Ministries. Thanks again for tuning in to the edu and we'll see you next week.